I awoke to the sounds of Lily's gentle snores as they drifted across the bedroom loft. She was still fast asleep and I needed to keep it that way, or suffer the consequences. Creaky foreboards meant that the simple act of getting dressed will require a little ingenuity. Good morning, Dougal. Hey, Dougal. Give me that stick, boy. Noink. Lily made a fish and marmalade sandwich for me the day before. I didn't have the heart to refuse, but I wasn't about to eat it. Boots, check. I freed my sweater from Lily's clutches, but it was still out of reach. I should be able to get the trajectory right. I had to wait until his mouth was open. Swap the sweater for the stick. But I don't even notice it. <laughs> that was my cue to sneak out of there. I decided I'd cycle to the nearby town. Maybe I'd find someone willing to hire me. Maybe I'd find someone who knew where my dad had gone. But first, I had a few things to take care of. <laughs> 